All right, now we want to bring you the latest on a pinpoint weather alert. Meteorologist Steve Matagrano in today to give us the details of this uh, heat advisory. It feels very, very hot out there. And as you might imagine, <laughs> we've got a crowded beach. Yes, people are enjoying the beaches. It's not as hot as the Pacific Northwest, but yeah. we have our fair share of heat to deal with here in the next couple of days or so before some relief is on the way. Taking a live look outside, like we mentioned, the beaches looking pretty nice. A lot of people enjoying the water, even getting some sun. But keep in mind, this time of year you can burn in as little as about 20 minutes or so. So if you're going to the beach, wear the sunscreen. Threat tracker, we're going to stay in the medium category for today, Wednesday, and Thursday, not only for the heat and the humidity, but also for the chance of some scattered showers and storms coming our way. Temperatures right now. It's hot. Low 90s, Smithfield, Providence, out towards Taunton. Down on the coast, not as hot in the uh, low to mid 80s in places like Newport and Westerly. Heat index, this is what it feels like when you walk out the door and it's basically like a wall of heat. Heat index, low 100s in Providence. Also, Smithfield and Taunton, and still feeling pretty hot down along the coast, down on the beaches, Newport and Westerly, out towards New Bedford, feeling like 101. Dew points, muggy, humid. Dew points in the 70s. This is that tropical air, and it's all thanks to a high pressure system off the coast. This is what is known as a Bermuda High. You can see it parked right here, giving us hazy, hot, and humid conditions, funneling in that tropical air from the south and west. And we're going to be in this for actually the next couple of days. Now, we're also tracking a cold front out in the Midwest. Now, this has been stalled here over the last couple of days and it's been giving some flooding issues in the Midwest. We're going to slowly see this eventually advance towards us as we go forward in time and that could impact us for later on in the week. But for this afternoon, it's hot, humid, hazy sunshine, temperatures in the 80s, even some 90s along the coast. A good beach day. Definitely get outside and enjoy it and stay cool as well. Stay hydrated with plenty of water this afternoon. This is where the true heat is for interior sections. We're looking at mid to upper 90s in places like Providence, Johnston, steamy, chance of a stray storm from about 4 or 5 this afternoon into about 8 o'clock tonight. Same story over in southeastern Massachusetts. You can see mid to upper 90s all across the area. A little bit cooler though, and when I say cooler, we're talking about low 80s down along the coast. So if you can get to the beach, certainly do it. Sunny, breezy temperatures in the 80s. Water temperature now in the upper 60s. So it's getting to that uh, manageable level. And keep in mind, like I mentioned before, you can burn in as little as about 20 minutes or so. Now, bay forecast, a great day to get out on the water as well. It's gusty though, winds southwest 5 to 15 knots, gusts up towards the 20, uh, 20 knots as well. Chance of a stray storm this afternoon, and uh, keep in mind, visibility 3 to 5 miles in any hazy uh, conditions that we see out there. It is a hazy, sunshine, sun, sunshiny day out there. Out of our forecast, nothing right now, but as we go forward in time to about 5 p.m., you can see these uh, green blips here pop up. That's a chance of a shower or storm coming through. The oranges and reds represent that. And as we go forward in time, drying out later on tonight, looking pretty good as well. Now, as we go to our seven-day forecast, you can see... Oh, sorry, for tonight's forecast, we're going to skip that for a second. Tonight looking pretty good, dry, partly cloudy skies. Warm and humid temperatures in the 70s. Here's our seven-day forecast. This is what I wanted to do. Looking pretty good. Plenty of beach days coming up, and we have that warm weather lingering through Tuesday and Wednesday. Showers and storms coming in Thursday, Friday, Saturday into the weekend. And as always, you can turn to WPRI.com for your latest forecast update. All right. Thanks so much for the update.